as a retired Domino's worker, making and baking pizzas, I know all of the do's and don'ts of making a good pizza. Now, raise your hand if you've ever had a slice of pizza before. <laughs> See, everyone. <laughs> as, I, as I expected, pizza is considered to be one of the most filling foods for your money. And if you want to know how to make a pizza from scratch, please pay attention. Now, before I get started, just let me give you a few interesting facts about pizza. According to Barry Willis in an article on about.com, somewhere around 350 slices of pizza are eaten every second. And cheese isn't the most purchased pizza in America. Pepperoni is. <laughs> Before you start, you have to know the necessities, which is the shopping list. Part of, part of them are, well, things that you must have, sugar, yeast, salt, olive oil, flour, and a, and a pizza stone are all the basics of the pizza stone is what you have to put the pizza on when you put them together. And I recommend plain marinara sauce for your pizza, but if you want to explore more, like barbecue sauce or something you feel free. At these, this is a recipe from BigGlazerJet.com. Three fourth cups of warm water, one tablespoon of sugar, an envelope of active dry yeast, a tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of olive oil, and two cups of flour. But you can adjust it as, as you go on. Directions. Once you return to your kitchen, find the biggest counter you have, combine the water, sugar, and yeast into a very large bowl, and let it sit for about 12 minutes. When you return, you should have a tan-colored foam sitting at the top. If not, you may, you may need some fresh yeast. Now add flour and let the mixture sit about an hour for the best taste. When the time is up, add the salt and olive oil so you can begin netting the dough, which is show you and flatten for about 15 minutes. If sticky, add a little more flour. Place in a bowl and drizzle a little more oil just to let it breathe. Following this process, cover up the top of the bowl and put it in a warm place such as a sunny countertop. When the dough has just about doubled in size, take it out and punch it flat several times with your hand, and now it's time to make the pizza. And uh, if you would, sir, please go back. Go back. Go no, no, no. forward. Go on YouTube. Click on the YouTube, and it shows you how to make, how to shake your dough. When making a pizza, you need to get it to the size you want. You can't throw a pizza from a ball, so you're going to have to stretch it out. One technique is called pushing. Either use a hard surface like a stainless steel or a marble. Get your dough ball on you and dust it in some flour and semolina. Create a border, and it can be about a half inch to a quarter inch border. Pop out any necessary bubbles, then flip it over. Keep that border. Now I'm going to turn it over one more time, and this is your beginning push. Open it and turn it. Open like a clock and turn it. And I'm always on the outside. We stretch this out to about a 10 inch circle and that should be ready for our toss. If I didn't want to do the throwing thing, let's just say I hated throwing, I would keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Maybe hand stretch it a little bit with my fist. So once you get it to the size that you want, you're gonna of course sauce it, cheese it, put your toppings on and throw it in your oven. To baking your pizza. To avoid, to avoid uneven cooking, make sure you spray your toppings evenly amongst your pizza. Remember, the less toppings you have, the more you add. But if you have a lot of toppings, then the less you add. Um, when using spinach, basil leaves, and garlic, make sure to place those under the cheese to avoid burning. Because if you put them, like after you place them in there, put them on top of that under the cheese, and all your toppings will sort of burn because they're just not. Um, preheat the oven 
Preheat the oven to about 500 degrees before placing the pizza inside. This will give it a very nice and brown coat. Check your pizza every three or four minutes to see how brown it's getting. If, the, if one side is getting more crispy than the other, then you might want to rotate it well and then place it back in the oven.